time now for our Critics' Corner, and it's May Sweeps, which means it's time to get your DVRs ready because there is a slew of new shows and season finales you don't want to miss. So I'm very excited to let you know that senior writer from TV Guide Magazine, our friend Damien Holbrook, is back to visit us. Thanks for hey, coming back, Damien. Thank you for having me. I'm excited that you're here. Oh, my God, I'm excited to be here. The First of all, like... This is a great show, and you're doing great. Thank and you. it's also May Sweeps. It's like our Christmas season. Uh -huh. <laughs> Last time you were on, I had people coming up to me, that Damien is awesome. Aww. When's he coming back? So in high demand, you are now back. Excellent. Thank you for having me. Thank you. So it's a big month for television. Oh, my gosh. This is like starting actually the end of April. They kick off May Sweeps, mm -hmm. and this is when all the shows are doing their biggest stuff. They're killing people. They're marrying people <laughs> off. They're blowing right. things up. Yeah, it's it's funny how many people end up having babies in the month of May on TV. Oh my gosh! So this is a, a big week yeah. because one of the biggest shows ever on television is is back. Oh. I I never saw this show, and what? I I DVR'd <laughs> it this week, so okay. I still haven't seen it, all but. Right. It's back, it's 24. 24, it's back. It's been off for like seven years. And uh, Kiefer Sutherland is back as Jack Bauer, the spy, renegade, vigilante. And this time he's in London. And we find out that he's been like underground and on the run. And, and he's uh, trying to foil this international espionage ring. And uh, he hasn't lost a step. He, he's a little older, he's a little, you know, a little more run down, but he is still capable. Yeah, and that, you know, 24 sort of um, spun off a lot of other shows that kind of went down that road yeah. after, yeah, after 9-11. Yeah. And it was, and it became a thing with TV, like, we'll do something where it's, you know, within a specific time frame, right, and right. we'll count this down. Yeah, like mm -hmm. the following, I think, really took a lead from that. And, yeah. Yeah, but Jack Bauer was the original. Very cool. Yeah. And um, another show which I haven't seen, embarrassingly, so Grey's Anatomy, and <laughs> a big long departure going on uh, right now. So it's been a year in the uh -huh. making. They announced it back in 2013. Um, Sandra Oh, one of the original characters from the show, announced that this would be her last season. There she is. And uh, what they've done is they've brought back Isaiah Washington, who left the show oh, okay. under you know a huge controversy after having a fight with a cast member and saying some things that you don't want to say in the press. Oh, I remember now. Uh, okay. So they have yeah. brought him back as her character's love interest, and what we will find out is that he has offered her um, the chance to run a hospital in Zurich. Oh. And these two were previously mm. romantically engaged, and they were you know to be married, and he left her at the altar, and now he's come back with better, way better than like a dozen roses. He's giving her a hospital. So she's not dying, she's not having a baby, she's going off to other, other off, things yes. in her life. They're not blowing her up, they're not having her uh -huh. kidnapped, they're not recasting her, yeah, she's just moving off to Zurich. I'm sure she can come back when the series has its finale. Well, one show that is, people are dying and continue to die, but it is my favorite show and I have seen it, Game of Thrones. It's been great this year. And then oh. my fa everyone's favorite death, Joffrey. Joffrey yeah, that was, yes. I could have watched an entire episode of him uh -huh. dying. It was not right. It's true. Yeah. It's true. This is uh, this is such a great show. Has such a huge following. Huge following. They're, every week, it's a new shock. It's a new surprise. You want to stay off Twitter if mm -hmm. you're you know if you haven't yeah. watched it yet. You don't want to find out because it could be somebody is killed. Somebody is revealed to be somebody's secret sibling. Somebody mm -hmm. is you know they got into a little trouble earlier this season with um, what a lot of viewers felt was like a non non consensual love scene right. um, between a brother and a sister. So. <laughs> There are so many layers of wrong there, but this show is, you know, they're powering through these books, and thankfully yeah. they limit it to 10 episodes a season, so they, they won't run out of material for a while. So there's a lot of, um, is it a lot different from the books, or are they the same? No, they're pretty much the same. They're I mean, there's a ton that they can't get into the show because they're sh these books are so dense, mm -hmm. but they're getting the, the primary stuff in there, yeah. and, and the actors are great, the sets are great, it looks gorgeous. It's probably HBO's most expensive show. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, finally, late night TV is getting a lot of huge changes oh. going on. It, it's mm -hmm. like you, we need a scorecard. You talked about like sports being a metaphor for life. Right. They're a metaphor for TV. I, it's I true. cannot figure out the, the rotating roster here. You've got David Letterman announcing that he's stepping down. And then very shortly after that, they announced David Colbert, or uh, Stephen Colbert uh -huh. is, uh, David Colbert is a Philadelphia right. performer. <laughs> Stephen Colbert is taking over. I'm sure for him. he'll appreciate the plug. Yes. yes. Hey. And then so then we have Colbert taking over, and then shortly after this, Craig Ferguson announces that he's retiring at the end of uh -huh. the year, which felt a little bit like a spiteful move, kind of mm -hmm. like, hey, you didn't give me that job, I'm out. I'm out of here. here, right? So now we wait to see who takes over his spot. 
and uh, you know, people are bouncing around all sorts of ideas. I'd love to see you know Aisha Taylor. Yeah, or right. Aisha Taylor. From, let's get a uh, woman there in late night. A woman, night. a woman of color, a comedian, uh -huh. something, something kind of interesting. Uh -huh. Chelsea Handler is going to Netflix, so she can't take that job. But you know, Sarah Silverman would be great. I would, would love it. Would be it. nice to get a woman in the mix. Uh huh. Damian you know? Holbrook, TV Guide. Thanks. You'll come back again, please, I'll please, please. Happily. Anytime you want. Thank you very much. Thank you. So as we go to break, take a look at some of the new movies hitting the box office this weekend.